In this video, I'm going to walk you through on how to build a presentation ready concept in Viscom. For starting, let's create a new file. Let's select the orientation of the canvas and import the sketch that we want to work with. Before creating the initial renderings, let's head outside to the workbench view, where we can click on create on the sketch, describe it with the prompt description, set the settings that we want to generate the renderings with, and click on generate as many times as we want. And this way we have this nice high level overview on the generated renderings. Let's double click on the most liked version of the renderings. This will take us back inside to the drawing or editing studio of Fiscom. We can give a quick name to our file and start detailing this concept. First of all, I want to have a more refined rendering. So I'm just selecting the entire vehicle with the in-painting selection tool, maintaining the same prompt description, just like what I used with the original rendering. And this way I can have like a nicer, smoother effect. After the refinement, let's just clean up this artifacts and unwanted details from the rendering just by simply selecting it with the in-painting selection masks, each and every little component. And using no prompt and 0% drawing influence, we can just create renderings where the details will be eliminated. After similar cleanups, we can start working on the very details of the concept. So this time I'm selecting this headlight assembly and I'm just using refine with the prompt of glowing light bar because I just want to slightly implement that little line stroke which I created. After that, I just re-upload the sketch to, to check on the changes that we made but I'm basically figuring the concept out as I go. Let's put in a logo as well. Select the logo and I just want to have a glowing effect on the logo. Uh, so I prompt accordingly this light blue glowing on the badge. And I'm just changing the opacity of it to make it a bit nicer, not that shouty. After that, we can just replace the environment of the vehicle by selecting it with the in-painting and using the invert function of the in-painting tool. And here we can just describe the backgrounds as like forest background of the vehicle. And using a lowered drawing influence, we can get something pretty nice of an effect, just like this very foggy forest here. Okay, now we get a cool environment, but let's just clean up the front fascia because it's not quite right. We can just use a brush tool on a new layer and just color blocking the surfaces that we want to see. I just want to have a more simplistic version of this front end. I just want to like calm down the surfacing on the vehicle, roughly describing it with this color blocked shapes basically. And if you could just very cleanly describe the surfaces like this, you can have a very nice and realistic effect after refining it. So let's just select this area that we touched and use refine mode with a similar prompt, just like silver front bumper of the vehicle with air intake by Honda. And let's lower the drawing influence to provide Viscom enough freedom to make it realistic basically. And this way we got a very nicely implemented and realistic front fascia of the vehicle. Now I want to make sure that everything is nicely implemented and the entire design is coherent and it's also reflecting the environment as well. So I'm just roughly selecting the body color area of the vehicle and I'm changing the color of it. Let's create like a mustard color, body color of the vehicle. And, and we even got this very nice dual tone effect. After that, we can just use the eraser tool to reveal the previous headlight assembly. Since the layers are on top of each other, we can just pretty quickly do that. I'm just sketching in some side mirrors, selecting them and calling it a name as white camera wing mirrors and also a roof rack and a roof box. These are both done by creating a new layer and just using the brush tool to roughly describe and color block these shapes. Let's just select that one as well with the in painting. And this time I'm going to use refine mode as well because I just want to push this towards realism a little bit but I don't really want to change on the colors. As a last touch on the vehicle, let's just describe cooler looking wheels here. So I'm just color blocking it with black and describing some very basic graphics and adding them a little bit of light to let this come understand a bit better what I want to create. I'm lowering the opacity to match the, the color of the roof a little bit. And here I'm selecting the entire like underbody of the vehicle and all the wheels that are visible. It can be helpful to give extra like added context to Viscom to work with. It will only see what you're selecting. And so if you're giving it more data to work with, it will be able to provide you more relevant options in terms of refining that certain area. 
Finally, let's visualize a persona next to the vehicle. And let's use this time render mode because we don't really have a well defined aesthetic. We just have a line drawing or a stick figure here that we want to make realistic. And we can pretty much describe the persona what we want. We need to find that drawing influence percentage, which is allowing enough freedom to make something realistic, but it is still sticking to our original silhouette and shapes. After the initial render, we can even pass him through refine mode with the same prompt to get an even more realistic effect. As a last touch, we can just play with the layers and layer settings to make the scene a bit nicer, but we just build a presentation ready concept with its environment and the persona as well. I hope you find this video useful and let me know if you have any questions.